Hello and welcome to a little post-processing tutorial in which I want to show you how you create beautiful reflections in flowing water. With beautiful reflection I don't necessarily mean a clear reflection, so basically a reflection which shows all the details you have in the real image. I'm talking about reflections with a little structure and this is quite typical if you have flowing water. Such water usually distorts the reflection a bit and this can look quite nice. And also with flowing water, it's usually hard to get a clear reflection. Even if you do a very long time exposure, you'll never get a very clean reflection over such a complete river. And I can show you in Lightroom what I mean by that. So this is the image which I took for the reflection and I used one sixth of a second and went very high ISO here. And you see all those little structures. If I wanted to smooth out the water, trying to create a real reflection, the only thing that happens is you have this motion of the river smoothed out, but you won't get a clear reflection. Typically, you only get this at the far bank of the river or yeah, if it's really still. So in the morning, I could have been yeah, more lucky with this shot, having a real reflection, but usually it's hard to get it over the complete river. So what I rather did to create a beautiful reflection, in my opinion, was using shutter exposures and getting this beautiful water. It looks a bit like Quicksilver or something. And I had to apply a very high noise reduction here, which you see here on that file. I already did this because with ISO 1600, I usually don't get such clear files. And it's also very easy. So if you uh, photograph a river with high ISO, you can just use very high noise reduction on it. There are no details in the river which you want to preserve normally. So the only details are the rough details here of the reflection. So having now this file and then here the low ISO shots, which are basically used for the rest of the image, I went to Photoshop and did a lot of blending. This here is the final image, which basically uses the part for the water from the shot exposure and the rest of the image. But if you look closely, you see that the reflection still looks a little bit more smooth. So I did some further post-processing here to smooth out this reflection. And in my opinion, it looks even more nice than before. And how I did this, this is what I want to show you now. Let's head over. So here we have the photo of the river before the processing I now show you. And it looks nice, but it's also a bit chaotic. So there are too many details. And I want to smooth out those details. And I don't want to just use some blurring or noise reduction. This uh, is not what I'm after. What I will do instead, I will we'll go to filter, oil paint here. And with this oil paint, you can create very nice structures. So let's see here, um, you have some settings here to the side and let's just bring all of them down. The first and most important setting uh, which you have to bring down is the shine because if you bring it up, you get all those structures which you normally don't want. So shine goes to zero. And angular direction is not very important. It just works in combination with the shine. So if you bring down the shine, you don't have to worry about this. So those lighting here, it's not what you're after. The brush is what's important. And uh, the first setting here, the stylization, if you bring this up in combination with the cleanliness, you see how you can control how those yeah, lines here look in the image. Could also bring up the scale, but yeah, this doesn't do too much. It's again something which would work here together with the um, lighting, which we're not using. So basically you can ignore the scale. The same is true for the bristle detail. It's also something which works in combination with the lighting. But really those two settings, the stylization and the brush is what you can use to control how much detail you want and want to have in those lines. And I think I'm going with something here in the range of four to five, maybe a little bit more. Press OK. 
and yeah, now we can see the before and after. So here's really a lot of stuff going on, a lot of little fine reflections, and this makes it even smoother. And I think for flowing water, this looks nice. And I could now also put a black mask on it and kind of paint it in with like 50% slowly building up the effect. So I don't have to go 100%. I can mix it a bit with the original. And yeah, this is what I did for the final photo. Basically mixing those two, making the water look very smooth and in my opinion, beautiful. And then I simply blended it with the rest of the image. Now let's again look closely how this looks. So you have a beautiful motion in the water looks a bit like quicksilver and you have a nice reflections and yeah it's a little artistic here but i think this looks very nice for this image and this is something you can do if you have flowing water which you just can't smooth out to create a clear reflection you can use shorter exposure times and work with those distorted reflections which also can look nice and this technique with this oil paint, you can also sometimes apply to your seascape images. If you have like motion in the water, you don't want to smooth out the water completely. You want still have little waves, but it just smooth them out a little bit. You can play around with this oil paint. And I do this from time to time for my seascape images also. Okay, so I hope you like this little quick tip and yeah, just play around with it. See how you can use it yeah and don't forget leave a thumbs up subscribe and yeah see you next time bye